Mmm, <laughs> it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? This is OJ. The new Legendary Arena offers 22 Victory Gold, and all of those chests contain about 8% more cards compared to the lower arena. Above Legendary Arena are Leagues. You'll still remain in Legendary Arena and be offered the same size chests. The season now resets every 30 days instead of 14 days. The resets are more balanced. For example, if you're in Champion League, which is 6400 to 5800, you will reset down to 4600. If you're in Master League, which is anywhere from 5500 to 4900, you'll reset down to 4300. Last and least, if you're at 4000 to 4600, you will reset down to 4000. If you've reached at least 4000 trophies, you'll be ranked in Challenger 1. After 30 days, you will get one draft chest. This chest contains around 2000 gold, 100 cards, 10 epics, and 50 rares. And you can actually pick between two cards on which one you will get. The victory gold in this league is 24. The next step up is Challenger 2 at 4300 trophies. This contains around 3000 gold, 15 guaranteed epics, 75 rares, and 26 victory gold. And Challenge 3 is attainable at 4600 trophies, offering 4000 gold, 20 epics, 100 rares, and 26 victory gold. Then at 4900 trophies, you reach Master 1. This draft chest has 5,000 gold, 25 epics, 125 rares, and 30 victory gold. Next comes Master 2, attainable at 5,200 trophies. You get 6,000 gold, 30 epics, 150 rares, and 32 victory gold. The last Master League, reached at 5,500 trophies, offers 7,000 gold, 35 epics, 175 rares, and 34 victory gold. Finally, the Champion League, reachable at 5,800, offers 8,000 gold, 40 epics, 200 rares, and 36 victory gold. Next up is the Grand Champion League at 6,100 trophies, offering 9,000 gold, 45 epics, 225 rares, and 38 victory gold. The Highest League at 6,400 trophies offers 10,000 gold, 50 epics, 250 rares, and 40 victory gold. Remember, seasons will now last twice as long and the reset points are scaled, so 6400 is not impossible. Now here's something interesting. Once you reach a certain league, you're locked into that chest regardless of how far you drop. Here I reached 6400 trophies and dropped all the way down to 4300, but I will get the ultimate champion chest once the season resets. Rewards in the clan battle chest are actually the same as a normal clan chest at all thresholds. The only difference is that instead of crowns, it's the amount of wins that contribute to the 2v2 chest. 2 vs 2 will happen every second weekend, and if your clan happens to finish the chest, you can still play during that weekend until that event is over. You can now see tournament standard stats of cards. It goes up or down depending on your level, so for my giant, it leveled it down. Max level epics used to only hold 1 card, now you can hold up to 5 cards. This is great because max level players can share their wealth during Epic Sundays. Bats and Night Witch are found in Frozen Peak. The Bandit lurks in the jungle arena, and Heal will be unlockable in the mountains. In the new Legendary Arena, once you reach the 3 minute overtime mark, Confetti starts falling off the screen. With the new clone spell buff, Sparky will still retain her charge, while her clone does not spawn charged. The log's range was reduced from 11.6 to 11.1. This minuscule change is quite dramatic and an indirect buff to spell bait decks. You can no longer take out a goblin barrel and princess that's sitting at the bridge. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.